Good morning, YouTube, and welcome to the 38th country I visited, Portugal. Today we're exploring the southern region of the country called Algarve. Let's get right into it and start with a kayaking tour into some of the beautiful caves along the seaside coasts. Great day to be kayaking here in Portugal at Ponta de Piedade, I think it's called. Not a lot of wind, clear skies, really fun time. I don't really know what vegetables I'm eating because for my vegetable soup, but it's quite good. It tastes healthy. I finished lunch with a delicious chicken cutlet that only cost 14 euros 50 cents and then made my way to the beach. There are beaches just like this one all along the coast of the Algarve region of southwestern Portugal. As you can see, covered in shells, very soft sand, very scenic. It's pretty dramatic when you see a giant cliff leading up to a small secluded looking beach overlooking the beautiful Atlantic Ocean. I did go in the water a little while ago. It is cold as you can imagine, but very refreshing on a hot day. I just got this lighthouse located at the southern tip of Ponta da Piedade. So, as you know, lots of European towns have old town centers that are historic from like the olden days when that used to be the town center. Today we're going to visit Old Town in Lagos, full of restaurants and shops and cobblestone streets and I think there's a castle there too, so we're going to go exploring and hopefully find that castle. It is the perfect weather for walking right now. It's 72 degrees, very light breeze, sun's about to set, couldn't get better than this. Right next to this church over here, you can see the remains of the medieval wall that used to surround Old Lago City. I found the front gates of the wall. This is really cool. These are from the 1500s, and this whole structure is right across from the ocean. That's all I have for you today. Tomorrow, I'm going on a Jeep tour with a local guide. We should be visiting some less known local towns around the Algarve region that aren't tourist hotspots. See you in the morning.
Good morning, or should I say good afternoon for my second day here in Portugal. Today is gonna be a little different. I'm gonna show you what it's like to go quad biking off-road around Lagos. And then we're gonna hop in a Jeep, explore the town of Sagres nearby, and enjoy a beautiful sunset together. After exploring the rugged terrain around Lagos on a quad bike, we began our evening jeep tour around the Sagres region of Algarve. Our jeep is going from one viewing area to another all along the cliffs of the Sargas area. I gotta say the kite surfing looks really cool. We are now at the Cape of St. Vincent. Our guide was telling us this is the westernmost point in Europe. Behind me you can see a working lighthouse from 1846 that's still used today. I had to skip there tonight because we're going to be on the road this evening to enjoy the beautiful sunset here in Sargaj. Instead I picked up a nice sausage roll. And you know what? It actually tastes pretty good. We are currently at the Fort of Belish. Our guide was telling us this old fort used to be used to defend the Portuguese areas against invaders from Morocco. Morocco is right across the sea from Sargash. We just got to a very secluded beach. There's like almost no tourists here. The access road into this area is very bumpy and apparently the road is under construction. So not a lot of cars can get in. You need like especially the Jeeps to get over here. But the views are absolutely stunning. We barely made it to catch this beautiful sunset on the edge of this cliff. Oh wow! <laughs> I'm gonna enjoy my glass of wine and little Portuguese cake at the end of a long day. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Tomorrow I'm off to Toulouse, France. I'll catch you in the next one. <laughs>